all things together. And he subjected himself to a normal, simple, straightforward life. I can't comprehend that. I, I, I'm try, I'm, I'm being sanctified. But let's face it, if you give some of us that kind of power, think about it. Give us that kind of power and humility would be, listen, people will be serving us 24-7. And when they didn't do right, we would wipe them out. But Jesus humbled himself and he became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. He chose to die like a common criminal. That's humility, folks. John chapter 13, the last time he dined with his disciples, you know what he did? He didn't simply say, now listen, where are my armor bearers? You carry that and you carry that and you take the... He didn't do that. You know what he did? He put on a serving apron. The text says he took a towel and he put it around himself. And he began to wash his disciples' feet. That's humility, folks. All of this power. Could you imagine Queen Elizabeth II visiting her subjects in the Commonwealth? And all of a sudden, she's somewhere on the street giving up food to beggars. The last time she was here, I don't know how many of you remember. Once before a month, the city didn't sleep, paving the road and cleaning the streets. And they're telling us, well, you can't drive downtown because the whole motorcade is going to be going that way. And reminding us that she's up there and we down here. And she's mere mortal. But Jesus the Christ, he came and he lived among us. And he served. And he laid his life down for us. And so if we really want to be like Christ, we have to adopt and cultivate within us the spirit of humility. There's absolutely no place in God's kingdom for pride and arrogance. And for us to show off. Well, you know, you know who I am. Who cares? <laughs> All of us are mere mortals. You know, ministry takes me into the inner workings of life and society. And you know what I've discovered? There are some common things, common traits that we have as human beings. Don't, don't listen how tough we talk out in public. That don't fool me one bit. <laughs> At the end of the day, we are poor old humans. And every now and again, you know, we should expose ourselves to some human things. Every now and again, you know, you should just go and walk through the ward over at Duran Hospital. There's some common conditions that really don't set us aside. It puts us right in the ring. Humility, the characteristics of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6 reminds us, what do you have that you did not receive? And you better think about that. Because really, the thing that we boast about, you know, in, in the big scheme of things, you don't have much value. Your clothes, and I got more clothes than you. 
But you only could wear one suit at a time, just like me. <laughs> but you know, mine are designers. You ain't look no better. <laughs> but you see where I live? That's only a temporary residence. That's all that is. When the time comes, we're going to take you from there, you wouldn't even know. And at the end of the day, we are going to be reduced to a six feet hole in the ground. All of us. You remember a song we used to sing, Mr. Big Stuff, who do you think you are? Humility. Boy, if we could grasp this, yeah. wouldn't our church be a better place? Wouldn't our community be a better place? What about our country? The manner of Christ, not only humility, but it's obedience. John 4, 15, Jesus said, if you love me, you're going to do what I ask you to do. And boy, we're living in an age, you know, when we don't like to submit to authority. Every man wants to do what's right in his own eyes. Obedience. And manner number three is generosity. If you really want to emulate Jesus, you know, you've got to seek to cultivate a spirit of generosity within you. The Bible says in first in Second Corinthians chapter eight, nine through eleven, though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor. This is Jesus we are talking about. Rich in every sense, he created all the wealth, all the silver, and all the gold. Though he was rich. Yet for your sake he became poor. One time, you know, the disciples said, well, what God said, well, Master, I want to go home with you. I want to see where you live. Jesus says, now, are you sure? He says, because you know, foxes have holes. The birds, they have nests. But me, I don't have any real estate down here. This is the one that created it all. And he says, don't get carried away. And if we are hoarding and hoarding and hoarding, you know what I've discovered with hoarders? Man, you ain't gonna know when it's taken away. And I know persons who hoarded in their lifetime, and once they were off the scene, and all of us, like I said before, got to get off the scene, the people who you leave it to, they go abuse it. They can party it out and drink it out and carouse it out. The manner of Christ is humility and obedience and generosity. And although we didn't put this one in the outline, the text bears it out. It speaks of unity. The ability to get along. Thirdly, not only should we have the mind of Christ and the manners of Christ, but thirdly, the ministry of Jesus. The ministry of Jesus. But we're really the primary focus of Jesus' mission. John chapter 13, Jesus laid it out. He says, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done. For I tell you the truth.